Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, although COVID-19 prevents me sadly from being with you in person, I am delighted that through technology, I am able to bring you greetings virtually from Jamaica on the occasion of the national launch of the Spotlight Initiative in Belize. I feel very connected to this important program being realized through a strategic partnership between the European Union and the United Nations because it reflects our joint commitment to wipe out domestic violence perpetuated against women and girls globally, including in Belize. It is also a clear manifestation of our unwavering support to multilateralism, working with the UN to address common problems. In this case, providing support to achieve gender equality and women's empowerment by addressing those issues that stand in the way of realizing that goal. This includes domestic or family violence. With a total of, of 50 million euros allocated to address family violence across the Caribbean, Spotlight Initiative demonstrates just how serious we are about our partnership with the region and protecting the rights of the people of the Caribbean. It is a shame that women and girls continue to suffer one of the greatest injustices of our time in the very space where they should feel safe and protected, the home. Last year in Belize, one in five women experienced physical or sexual violence at the hands of an intimate partner. In 2018, 75% of all cases of sexual violence were among girls 10 to 19 years old. 65% of children, boys and girls, experience some form of physical violence from a parent or guardian. This is simply unacceptable. Women shouldn't have to fear being in their own home. They have the right to free, freely play their part in the economic, social and political development of their country without fear or intimidation. They have the right to pursue and realize their full potential. It is time for all of us who have been standing quietly on the sidelines to find our voice, to speak out and to take action to end violence once and for all. Demonstrating to women and girls suffering in silence that they are not alone is a powerful way of empowering them. It is also a way of inspiring others. It is not only the right thing to do, it is the smart and humane thing to do. Violence against women and girls thrives in silence. In fact, it counts on your silence and mine to exist. And this is why this program is putting a spotlight on this appalling problem to help women and girls step out of the shadow of their abusers and into the light. It is important to highlight that this program is not only about women and girls, it seeks also to involve boys and men as partners in this struggle. It is an all of community approach which seeks to take on board influential persons within the communities, including religious leaders, traditional and indigenous leaders, teachers and others. This is crucial to get the transformative change that we desire. With the COVID-19 crisis, we have witnessed globally an upsurge in cases of domestic and family violence as more women and children are forced into lockdown with their partners and abusers. This sad reality has highlighted the need for improved access to services so the abused can find help. The Spotlight program is sufficiently flexible to adapt to these changing circumstances and we have encouraged our partners to adjust the program to facilitate increased access to relevant services. These include community level health, psychosocial, sexual and reproductive health and legal support, mobile and hotline services for victims and awareness building for the prevention of family violence. The capacity of national authorities to prepare for coordinate and respond to family violence during the COVID-19 crisis will also be strengthened. Ending family violence need not be aspirational. It is very much possible. The Spotlight Initiative is boldly shining a light on this huge problem that threatens the lives and well-being of women and children and their ability to realize their full potential. But let's be clear, 
Change requires partnership. Partners from a wide cross-section of the society, government, civil society, private sector, and religious organizations have to join forces together. The time has come to leave abuse and family violence behind. I am proud that the United Nations and the European Union are playing a lead role in this effort. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs>